What's going on you guys? This is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and I am super excited for this video because it is now finally time to unbox the Xbox Series X. Oh my god, so day one edition, finally got it, had to wait online for a little bit and I am super excited. We're going to be taking a look at this, we're going to be setting it up and then we're going to see how it is and I'm just super excited. I'm not going to do a full review until like a month later to see how it overall performs as far as like booting up, loading the applications, how well it performs with 4K, all of stuff like that. I'm just going to be doing the unboxing and set up and see what it really comes with and then I'll do a review later on in the future as well. And I'm going to try my best to get hands on of the PS5 as well but that one I didn't unfortunately get a pre-order but let's dive right into it. I got the B camera over here but we got the main thing we got the Xbox Series X and then you can see right here I got 4K 120 uh, frames per second. We got the new uh, hard drive 1 terabyte SSD and this is the Series X edition. Alright so let's go ahead and then we got on the other side we got Halo. Ho 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 look at that. Oh man now that is an unboxing experience right there. Whew. Power your dreams. Alright. Go ahead and lift this bad boy up and move this over to the side. All right, you guys, so now we took everything outside of the box. So now let's take a look at what we get with it. So we get the product guide right here. Very nice, very nice. And then we get the power cord and then we get an HDMI 2.1 cable. This is for setting up for a TV that's compatible with HDMI 2.1 so you can play 4K up to 120 frames a second. Most of the LG OLED TV supported now and Sony's X900H is the only one that supports uh, HDMI 2.1 for that 4K 120. We also got the getting started guide right here and it tells you all the ports on the back and stuff like that. And then, got the new controller. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So of course we got the new Xbox Series X controller and nothing too major of a difference. Just a little bit of texture on the side as well as on the triggers. The D-pad's a little bit different, but for the most part, very nice. It also comes with some AA batteries. So very nice, very nice. Now let's go over to the console. Oh my God. All right, guys, now it's time for the console portion. Power your dreams. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Honestly, looking at the Series X, it is not that bad in size. I thought it was just going to be a little bit larger, but for the most part, it's pretty decent and it doesn't seem like it's going to be an eyesore in my living room. I'm going to set this up in the living room. So I'm very excited for that. Ho, 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 ho. And there it is. The Xbox Series X. So now we got the Xbox Series X in the studio. I am super excited to set this up and taking a look at it, honestly, it is not that bad. You got the ventilation on the top, got that nice indent right there. For the most part, very basic, very similar to the Xbox One X. But taking a look at the other camera, you got the on and off button right here as well as you got the main drive. And then you got the uh, setting up with your controller, pairing it with your controller, which is very nice. And then if we take a look at the sides, and then taking a look at the ports, we have the power port as well as the HDMI out port, Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, and the expandable slot. So you could get that Seagate uh, one terabyte expandable hard drive to get more storage. And then on the front, you also have that one USB 3.0 port right there as well, which is very nice. And then of course on the bottom, you have the rubber plate so that this doesn't move or anything like that. And it's nice and steady. As well as on the side, you have the rubber feet right here so you can also set it up on the side like this is what I'm most likely going to have it set up as and I'm not really going to have it set up in the tall angle otherwise it might be uh, blocking my TV a little bit. So now that we got everything out of the box let's go ahead and set this up let's see the setup process and see how it overall performs as a first time use. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it's now time to set up the Xbox Series X. So let's turn this on for the first time. Oh, very nice, very nice. Let's see how long it takes to set up. Ooh, very clean. They went away with the green and mainly went with the black style. I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna skip right now. We can do it on the phone, but I'm gonna just skip for the time being. 
in the five gear it's banned. All right, and we are all set up. So let's go US. Let's start the update. There's a four gig update, nothing too crazy. I like the fact that they added the functionality that you could do the setup through the Xbox mobile app, which is really nice. I wonder how fast it is, but I'm just gonna be doing it onto the TV. Nothing too crazy. All right, so it seems like that the update just finished. Now let's update the controller. All right, so the update for the controller is now set up. So let's go ahead. Next, you'll sign into your Microsoft account, of course, of course. And this is always the most difficult part because I always forget what my password is. Awesome, all right, so now we are now logged in. Let's go ahead and click next. And send optional data, that's fine. That's fine as well. This is very really optional. You could tell them no or not as far as sending your personal like info kind of or data. And then we found all the system settings and preferences from your last Xbox. These are different than the ones we collected in the Xbox apps. You could change them later. So from the 2nd of November and let's go ahead and apply these settings. And then let's do an instant sign in on the controller. And then we're going to find the best settings for your TV. So let's go ahead and do that. Keep these settings out of the look. You want to keep the display. Keep the display at 4K, of course, obviously. And now we are all set up. So now it's time to play. Oh, very nice. All right. So now let's go into the settings because I want to make sure that I have my settings set to 4K. Yep, 4K Ultra, very nice, we got the details. Unfortunately, my TV does not support 120 hertz because it does not have HDMI 2.1, but everything else looks good. We do the view modes, very nice. We have 4K HDR 10, auto HDR, and Dolby Vision enabled as well. We have the 24 and 50 hertz, and then we're not gonna enable that one. And then we're gonna make sure this is set to 36 bits. Want to make sure I have the highest setting, of course, and then standard, and then we should be good with that. So now we're going to do an HDR game calibration. We're going to see how this goes. So use your Xbox control to adjust the image until you can barely make out the check. Right there. Use the Xbox controller to adjust the image until all the blocks have the same brightness. There we go. Until all the blocks have the same brightness as well. And now we are all calibrated for HDR gaming. All right, you guys, so now I have the Xbox Series X all set up and I still have a bunch of games installing, unfortunately. But the main thing that I wanna show you guys is how quickly the Xbox Series X actually boots up and powers on. It is honestly insane, it's like literally two seconds. So if we were to just press the power on button on the Xbox Series X, we'll see how quickly literally a second later it is honestly insane how quickly it boots up but i do have a bunch of games still queuing up and still installing in the background so i didn't get to play so much of the games but i'm super excited to mess around with the xbox series x but there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed my experience as far as unboxing and first impressions of the xbox series x i'm definitely going to be playing a lot of games so give me about a month or so and then maybe i'll come out with a review and let you guys know if this is really a uh, good buy or not and who is this really for but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you guys do have any questions or concerns let me know as well down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever i upload a new video follow me on twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace